Go to Cairo and Kathmandu. These two graffiti artists give a voice to the slums. And how do they do this? By making beautiful, colorful murals. Welcome, Sepp and Spag. Can you please tell us how you exactly work? Uh, so basically, the idea of our project is that uh, we go to a slum, we stay there for one month, and uh, we ask the people, we ask the inhabitants to give us words they would like to express, words they would like to share, and uh, then we paint these words on their houses. So usually for a month, we do more or less 15 murals. So, and wh it. what has been your most epic experience um, in all these countries and all these different cities so far? Um, like there's, there's been a lot of course uh, because we've traveled everywhere and uh, we did this for five months but uh, uh, one of them was in Cairo last, uh, last January basically we were painting there and after a few weeks uh, one of the family they actually started to paint their own house with their own world and uh, we are glad if our project can inspire like that. And what word did they paint? Uh, they painted uh, Allah which is um, the only word that um, some of these people know how to paint because Lots of people in this neighborhood um, didn't know how to write, but um, Allah, they knew how to do it and they did a, a quite a colorful mural, so we were glad. Cool. And what words uh, do you have to paint the, mo the most? It really depends on the, on the place. Um, in Cairo, we had lots of um, words um, relating to religion. In um, uh, Colombia and Kenya, for example, we had lots of um, big general ideas like peace, love, harmony, or um, friendship, or things um, like that. Um, in Indonesia we had words that uh, were references to their local um, identity, their local tribes or islands that were expressed. So it really depends on the country. There isn't actually one word that comes uh, more regularly than others, I suppose. So you guys are back in France right now. Uh, are you guys planning a yes. new trip? Where's the next destination going? So we're planning for a new trip in uh, April and beginning of May. Uh, we don't yet know where it will be exactly, so we'll decide in the coming weeks. Cool. We'll keep us updated, guys. We will. And if, and if you want to know more about these two, go to interconnection.com.